Hi, Neville here with a demo of an Ernie Ball Music Man Valentine guitar. This is the signature model of Maroon 5's guitarist James Valentine, and it's a really lovely guitar. Uh, I'm going to walk you through it now. In typical Ernie Ball Music Man style, I remember the very first time I saw a silhouette when they first came out, I was struck by how they were kind of custom shop quality before custom shops really even existed. But the great thing about them is they've always been real world prices. They're not, they're not custom shop prices, but they're definitely custom shop quality. This one is um, an ash body. It's nice and slim. It's an ash body. And it's got a roasted maple, figured maple neck. Um, this is, as, as lots of music man, man guitars are, it's waxed and oiled for a really beautifully smooth, tactile finish. It's absolutely lovely. Um, the pickups are interesting. There's only bought a music man humbucker in the neck and a single coil in the bridge. And it's really nice because it's humbucker size, but they've got the angled um, pole pieces rather like a telecaster, perhaps. Um, three way selector. It speaks for itself, it does the usual stuff, that one. Both of them and that. A couple of push push pots, not push pull, push push. This is a, a just a boost, a plain boost, and it, it kicks out quite a lot of gain, uh, extra gain. This is a coil splitter, and it, and it works, obviously, it doesn't work on that because it's single coil, but it works on both when, when it puts, puts that into single coil mode along with that, so that's kind of Telecaster-ish kind of sound and then that puts the neck pick up in a in a, a call tap situation. Uh, modern designed uh, hardtail bridge with uh, bent steel saddles. It's a really nice piece of work. All of the workmanship on here is, is first class and all of the parts are, are of incredible quality. Um, up at the tuning end we've got the usual uh, 4x2 headstock. The, the headstock is actually finished but it stops around there, the, the finish, and it's, that's waxed from there down. Um, with um, Valentine's signature on the headstock. These are locking, shallow locking tuners. So if I turn over, you can see they're really simple to use. Just slacken off those nuts, whack the string in the slot and tighten it up and you're done. Um, look at that lovely figuring on the, on the maple. This is, as I say, roasted maple, so it's nice and dark. The famous Ernie Ball Music Man um, five bolt uh, neck joint. And this is dressed away really nicely here so you can get right up to the top fret. Uh, I'll quickly turn it over again. The frets are 22 frets and they're tall but they're quite narrow and it's a 25 and a half inch scale length with a 10 inch radius so it's it's Gibson-ish uh, in, in, in radius but Fender-ish in scale length. It's, it's, it makes for a really nice feel actually. Turn back round. This is an active circuit in there so there's the battery compartment for the 9 volt battery um, back plate and uh, string through ferrules. You can see the ash body through um, this is trans buttermilk colour and there comes another range of, uh, a really nice range of colours including a, a maroon one, not surprisingly. It's a, it's a really beautifully made guitar, it sounds fantastic and while, it's, while you've got these switches it's easy to use, it's intuitive to use and you get used to it in five minutes. The, the sounds are really good. We actually used it, I did the demo through a little Supro uh, 1600 and the, the two are match made in heaven, really lovely natural sounds. Um, and there's not, a, there's not a bad sound on this guitar. It's a really enjoyable to play. And again, it's a nice, it's an unusual guitar. It's, I think James says himself, it's kind of, he wanted a classic look, but with modern appointments. And that's exactly what you've got. It's a, it's, it's a fine piece of work.